so we continue that which we're speaking about this asal a bit in which majority of the Muslims have left off. So in which the majority of the Muslims have left off widespread. Even though we don't forget the hadith or the great statement of Ayyub al Sakhtiani, as we talked about last class, he says that Kullu Kulluman Kana al Bid'a fihim Nazatuin Lil Khawarij. And we have to remember that, take that into consideration. That's a major author on Ayyub al Sakhtiani, Rahimullah Rahmatuazia. Where he said that every person that's not upon that which is the methodology of the companions of the Prophet, and that's upon innovation, he said, for verily, they will have eventually with them. Inevitably, some type of inclination towards the khawarij. And, they, and that which you see, and that which you see all around you. For that which is from those deviant sects, that which is from the Ikhwani, uh, Ikhwan al Muslimin, they have some type of inclination of the khawarij. And that which is the majority of the Muslims who are upon even the, those who have the aqidah of the Asha'ira, they're quick to make takfir on the Muslim. Kafir. You don't believe Allah is above the heavens? Kafir. 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 al khawarij. Inclination of the Khawarij. Understand everyone? That's a major author of Ayyub al-Sikhtiyani, Rahimullah. He said, every person that's upon innovation, they have some type of inclination of the Khawarij. They have a naz'atun fihim, naz'atun lil ila al-Khawarij. Don't forget that, Athar. We took that about three weeks ago. Tayyip. We talked about that, which is this also that which we continue in this tremendous book or this tremendous treatise authored by Al Imam uh, Abu Uthman Ismail Abdul Rahman Al Sabuni and Isaburi Rahimullah Rahmatullah That which is this tremendous book entitled Aqidat al Salaf Ashab al Hadith. That we, could, we continue in it and we was elaborating on the, the principle of Al Salat wa Ra'a kulla barrin wa fajr. That Al Salat is behind every what? Every barrin wa fajr. Behind every Muslim ruler and leader, that should, whether he be what righteous, or whether he be what, whether he be wretched, or that which is evil, or have that which is of some type of oppression or injustice, or being a tyrannical uh, individual or ruler, or anything similar to that. And that was the main reason why we mentioned this topic: that to pray behind those who were considered to be what, those who were considered to be evil, and behind those leaders who are also considered to be some of them to be very, very tyrannical of that which they committed of bloodshed, of that which they had also of even some type of deviance of being upon bid'ah. If we know some of them, of that which is of those rulers, especially in that which is of the lifetime of Imam Ahmed, who was upon the aqid of i'tizal. And upon that, the Imam Ahmed still called him Amir al-Mu'mineen, and also likewise he still prayed behind him and commanded the Muslims to what? Keep their, their unification strong and not to break the bond that which is the stick of obedience in order to keep their word and to keep the strength of the Muslim strong and also to prevent what bloodshed in the earth and also likewise 
at the head of all of those matters that we just said was to worship Allah Taala because we do not obey the ruler number one just for the ruler himself rather we obey him number one because it's worship of Allah Taala whether he be tyrannical or be righteous number one is ta'abudanillah it's worshiping Allah Taala number one firstly at the head of all those affairs worshiping Allah Taala wa idanat lahu wa inqadan li amrihi wa li awamiri rasulihi sallallahu and also submitting and humbling yourself to the command of Allah and the command of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and that's the meaning of the ayah Ya ayyuhal ladheena amanu wa ati'u Allah wa la ati'u al-Rasul wa uli al-amri minkum wa intanazza'atum fi shay'in furudduhu ila Allahi al-Rasul in kuntum tu'minunna billahi wal-yawm al-akhir thalika khayru ahsanu ta'wila to the end of the ayah as Allah Tabriq wa Ta'ala mentioned obedience to him istiqlala independently then he said this Messenger independently but Allah Tabriq wa Ta'ala and then so that was the ta'a and obedience to him independently or his messenger. After he mentioned that, which is uh, following it, the leaders and the rulers over you. Why? Allah noticed Allah mentioned ta'a of him. Ta'a for his messenger, but he didn't mention ta'a for the leaders because ta'a of the leaders and his obedience to Allah and his messenger. Because in worship of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and submitting to their commands will necessitate obeying them, the leaders and the rulers. You understand? And that's the asl of the ayah, as Allah Taala says in His book. Even though majority of the ulama, you will find that they say that the meaning of the ayah, those in the over authority over you, are the Muslim rulers and the leaders. Even though some of them say that's also included in that, and it's comprehensive for the ulama likewise. For that which Imam Al Tabari mentions in his tafsir, he said that which is the strongest, or which is alhar, what is the most apparent that we see from the text, is that and it necessitates obeying what the Muslim ruler and the leader. And notice that's the number one delil of what we start off with to show that which is of what? Obedience to them is obedience to Allah and His Messenger. That's what said, Ati'u Allah wa Ati'u Rasul wa Uli Al-Amri Minkum. Ta'a of Allah is and wholeheartedly, independently. Ta'a of His Messenger is independently, wholeheartedly. And this, what necessitates their obedience is that you obey the Muslim ruler. Understand, everyone? Does everyone understand? طيب. So that which we said from last lesson Of that which is of Commanding the good and forbidding the evil And that which we mentioned of About the Muslim ruler We said number one From that which is the last class We said what? Not to go out against them was number one Number two was what? Make dua for them That which is of salah That which is of rightness And that which is of tawfiq In light of what Imam al-Babahari said and the Imam al-Babahari had mentioned a tremendous statement of that which is a make a dua for that which is of the rulers, make a dua for them, and making a, uh, asking Allah to give them tawfiq, and to ask Allah to bring And also the, uh, the other we mentioned of that which is of the salaf, what they said, that if I knew there was a da'a mustajabam, illa ja'ituha li sultan. That which is of Hazrat al-Basri and also the other than them that mentioned, also a dua, and also the statement of the Imam Ahmed. Right, everyone, what we mentioned? What did they say? Just said. I actually wasn't allowed to say it, but I didn't hear it. You say, Abdul Muhammad. Of course. That I would know that I would make the dua because in the righteousness or that which is of the uprightness or that sound of that which is the leader being upright will be that which is beneficial for what? For those who are under him, under his jurisdiction of the people. We said that in light of that, even though the Imam Al Barbahari made that statement, the Sultan was against them. The Sultan was against them and wanted to kill him. And he still followed and obeyed Allah and his message by saying that he will what? That it's obligatory to be, obey them. And even if they are tyrannical and unjustful, and even if they are oppressors, to the end of it, that still make dua that Allah Tabriq wa Ta'ala what? Make them righteous. And also that Allah Tabriq wa Ta'ala, that which is of giving them a good person or someone to give them good nasiha and also to make them upright and to make dua for them with that which is of good even though the Sultan was against them and he still did not want go outside the athar of that which is the Sunnah of the Prophet rather he stuck and clung to the Sunnah of the Prophet of that which is of what? make a dua for the leader of that which is the madhab of all of the salaf so number one was what? not to go out against them number two is to make dua for them and number three is what? التماس اللعذ to seek what? make an excuse for them make an excuse for them and to what? To blame ourselves for that which is of the suppression that's taking place and that we're going to read some of the stories of the salaf 
of what took place, of how when they seen rulers who were unjustful over them, they blamed themselves first. They blamed themselves with their sins because we said, I mentioned the hadith of the Prophet Sallallahu he says, as the Prophet says, that which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam إِلَّا فَشَفِيهِمَ الطَّاعِمُ وَلَوْجَعَ الَّتِي لَمْ تَكُنْ مَضَتْ فِي إِسْلَافِهِمُ الَّذِينَ مَضَتْ He said, وَلَمْ يَنْقُضُ الْكَيْلَ وَالْمِيزَانِ إِلَّا أُخِذُ بِالسِّنِينَ وَالشِّدَّةِ الْمَؤُونَ وَالْجَوْلِ السُلْطَانِ عَلَيْهِمُ As the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said That hadith is to show that Due to the hadith of the Prophet Sallallahu the Prophet Sallallahu has said him that which is of and the love where he mentioned alayhi salatu wasalam he said there is not a people that which would fall into oppressing people with that which they give and their measurements of their food meaning that they that they make the weight of that which is measuring their food incomplete which is to mean that they fall into riba or they cheat into people or they make scams to the people so wala yanqudu al-mikyaa mizan they do not make or render that weight incomplete or that measurement incomplete except they will be took in that which is of starvation and that which is of shiddat al-ma'una and it says in the last narration the impression, the oppression and the injustice of the ruler, the ruler over them so the Prophet made that narration what? the reason why the oppressive leaders over the Muslims is because of what? what did he mention in this hadith? due to what? people's actions and their sins So number one is, you see that the salaf are number one, when they see these oppressive rulers over them, they point the finger towards themselves first, not to the leader. Is that everyone? Is it clear what I'm saying? Is it not clear? Play it. We also mentioned that which is of... We also talked about that which is of pertaining to those who believe that the asl, that which is going out against the rulers, is of those three deviant sects, or that which is of the iksan rahtalan, that which is of the khawarij and the mu'tazila, and that which is also the ruwafat. Like we said, everyone. The khawarij, the mu'tazila, and the ruwafat, or three of them. As they believe totally that that which is from the usul of commanding the good and forbidden the evils to go out and kill the rulers or the oppressed or tyrannical rulers. That is from their usul. And you will find that that which is of the Khawarij and the Mu'tazila is that they raise, or excuse me, that they want to remove the, the ruler, overthrow him, kill him. The Ruwafat go to another extreme. They raise, they say that the Imam is supposed to be raised to the, the degree of that which is of infallibility. He's raised to the degree of that which is of infallibility. That he cannot make no mistakes, he's absolutely what? Perfect. Is that everyone? So, they are on, the, on the opposite of that which is of what? The extreme. You have the Khawarij, you have the Mu'tazila, then you have the opposite of those who are on the extreme, who are the what? The Ruwafat, who raise their Imam to that which is. Please don't tell me this is about to die. No. Who raise their level of their leader or their. So that which is the level of the isma, that which is of infallibility, of infallibility, that he cannot make no mistake, he is absolute, no school, no school. That he, he cannot make no mistake, he is absolutely what? Protected. And based upon that, they do not see that there's any jama'ah or there's no type of leader. Also likewise, even if they pray in masajid, it's all a lie. If they pray in the Masajah and they pray Juma, it's all a lie. Based upon their what? Based upon their principle, they believe that they, they're waiting for their Imam or their leader, who's what? Who's supposed to be infallible. They're waiting for him to what? Manifest. And they give bay'ah to an Imam that they don't even know who he is. You understand, everyone? Rather, he's in the Sirdab, as they say. He's in the Sirdab. He's in the cave somewhere. 
I'm waiting for him to come out and emanate. <laughs> so they're waiting to give bay'ah to a, a, that which is the Imam al majhul They don't know who he is. And that this Imam is what? Muntadar Ma'soom. He's infallible. And for that reason, if they pray in the masajid, they're all lying. Because it clearly says what we've talked about before in their book called Kafi, and their evil book called Kafi, that there's no la salata wa la jama'a wa la jum'a illa wa ra'i imam muntadar ma'asum. As it says clearly in their book, that was Al-Kafi, there's no jama'a, there's no imam, there's no jum'a, there's none of that, no idain except behind the absolute infallible imam. So if they're praying next to you in the masjid al khurafidi he's a liar. He's doing it out of a tuqi, he's doing it out of that which they believe of their principles called a taqiyya. The taqiyya which say it's ob- it's allowable for them to lie to you and to display lies in order to what? To keep themselves protected. So if they pray next to you in the jama'ah, they're a liar. They believe there's no jama'ah except behind what? That infallible leader. And if they pray that which is of jama'ah, they're lying. They do what? There's no jama'ah except that which is behind that what? The infallible leader. So it's all a lie because they believe in that which is what they call a taqiyya. Understand? And what's so ajib is so strange is, you find those who are the most dangerous is those who say they are brothers in Islam. They say, La ilaha illallah, Muhammad Rasulullah, and we need to what? Unite with them. And we all need to come together. And they're all jahil. And there's no such thing as mubtadi on these days and times. They're all ignorant. All the other nonsense that they say. And that you are, and that these people, they are the ones who are more, uh, more dangerous upon us than Ruafa. Why? Because they opened the door for these people to come inside the what? With the ranks of the Muslims. Understand everyone? They're the ones who's the most dangerous upon us. Why? Because like I said, they're the ones that allow these people to enter in the ranks of the Muslims and allow to let them what? Make corruption with, from within and destroy them. So that's what we're saying as far as that which is of. We're talking about the Ikhwan al-Muslimin and those who are upon their minhaj and their methodology. For that which is of, you find in these days and times who are upon their methodology in the Middle East, just Muhammad al-Arifi and Salman and Auda, and that which is of also, for example, Muhammad Hassan, and that which is also likewise of all these different du'at, what they call al-harakiyin al-siyaziyin, those political so-called du'at that the people claim them to be, and they're all just du'at of that which is of fitna, and that which is of uprising and revolts in order to what? Have bloodshed in the earth and corruption while they sit in their houses relaxing, and their children relaxing and drinking and that which is of coffee to the end of it while they call the people to go out and shed their blood while they're sitting in their houses relaxing in their houses taking their money and laughing. You saying everyone? And that which is of as far as these du'at in the west or upon that that you will find who got affected here that which is of Anwar al-Awlaqi and that which is also likewise you'll find of that which is from the Khubth of the Ikhwan al-Muslimin at the head of them you'll find of that which is of al Qadi and that which is also other than them, but that which is now, in these days and times you will find who are now involved inside of politics and black nationalism, such as Shadi Muhammad, and those who say that he's also what? He is also likewise Salafi, but he is not Salafi, rather he's Ikhwani, purely, even if the people want, deny it. As you see his, that which is of his inclination, is clearly towards Ikhwaniya, politics, and even now, within Azhar al-Shadi, now black nationalism. You understand everyone? and how he will defend his people to the end. And he's talking about that which is a black nationality and that which is aiding his people. For that which we say, Ya Ma'ash al for that which in these days and times, and that which is of those who go against these usul, of that which is of praying behind, of mubtadi', we talked about that, we spoke in the details pertaining to that, especially in these days and times. How? It's incumbent upon a person to pray behind Ahl Sunnah and put forth their utmost effort in praying behind one who's from Ahl Sunnah and if there's a Salafi Masjid, pray behind that which is of what? Pray in the Salafi Masjid. But they, here they was talking about and speaking about that which is of the details of the leader in which you'll find that the Muslims pray behind during the time of the Imam Ahmed and also applies for these days and times. You'll find that which we said in the last lesson that was pertaining to praying in the Masjid that are now upon Salafiyyah we gave details in that very precise, accurate detail, so nobody mixed them up and confused them. We said that the asl is find a masjid that's salafi, sunni, established upon it, and put forth your utmost effort in praying in it, and praying behind someone who you know their aqidah is what? 
is pure and it has not been tainted by any of that which is of corruption of bid'ah. That's, not, that's the azal. Put forth your utmost effort in playing behind that which is what? In the message of Ahl Sunnah that established upon Sarviya clearly. But for you live in a remote, far distance place, far, far distance place, it's far away and it's a hardship for you to reach that masjid, you cannot do that, then we say what? Do what they say. If their bid'ah doesn't remove them out the foot of Islam, then what? Pray and leave. Pray in the masjid, you're in the neighborhood, you're driving, it's time to pray, I'll just pray and then I'll just leave. As far as sitting with them, eating with them, having a, how you doing, salam alaikum, let's my family visit yours, your family visit mine, let's go out, let's have go out, spend the day. No, now it's switched. Now, he went from you just praying with him, now he's your companion, your friend now. And that's how people get corrupt these days. Understand? Now when you start going out with him, eating with him, sitting with him, having lunch with him, your family visit his family, your wife visit his wife, your, his wife come over your house, your wife visit and switch and vice versa, he has now switched from what you so called call Nasiha to now that which is of your friend. And that's the reason why Ahl Sunnah looks funny at you. You understand? And why people is going to treat you with what? Caution. You understand, everyone? Nasiha now has switched to now what? He's your, you, as they say, Nasiha has now switched to what? Or Munasaha has switched to Musahaba. So called Nasiha that you're giving now is what? Has now become companionship. And you accompany him. So in very instances, it's incumbent upon us as Sunnah to switch and know the difference between the two. Munasaha, as Sheikh Ahmed al Najmi said in his book and his refutation against Ali al Halabi, he said, Al Munasaha fi awqat al Mahduda. That which a manasaha is in specific time. Sit with the person. Here's the delir. Here it is. Assalamu alaikum. Now, as for you now, coming that which is of, going out to Pizza Hut with him and now going to visit his family and now you're sitting with him at that which is a different restaurant and his wife is coming over yours and you're going over his, it is now switched to musahaba. It's companionship now. Understand everyone? Know the difference between the two. Because that's very, a lot of people fall in these days and times to say, I'm giving him the siha, I'm giving him the siha, I'm giving him the siha, I'm giving him the siha. Da da da, akhi. The siha is only in specific times, right then and there. We do exactly what Ibn Abbas did to the Khawarij. He came to them, sat with them, gave them the delay, said, What's your shubahat? What is the delay that you have against Ali ibn Abi Talib? Listened to it, refuted it, showed them the haq, left. Did he sit with him, started having chicken, they started, hey, let's cook some dinner together, let's all sit together, let's now start drinking together, let's drink some coffee together to the end of it. Let, I don't even have, okay, have coffee back down, I'm saying as, as far as that which is of drinking, and now let's go out and let's all hack like our friends. Let. Abbas sat with them, gave them the lil, established it upon him, then got up and what? Left. It's the difference between that which is of what? Musahaba and that which is of what? Manasaha. It's the difference. Distinguish between the two, that's very important. And which a lot of people fall into, and which comes as a result of it, they eventually become from their followers. For those who say that they're giving them nasiha. And those who also give nasiha is also a condition that you have an ilm. And have an ilm of that which is of. the ambiguities that they're upon. If you don't have that, how are you going to get a nasiha? Rather, they can what? Switch it upon you and affect you. And that's usually what happens. Is that everyone? So that which we say of that which is of the pertaining to the Muslim rulers, you'll find that even Ibn Mas'ud had mentioned. And already I thought of the Salaf talking about how they were going to be evil rulers. You'll find that continuously. And a lot of that which is of different narrations. Firstly, at the head of all of the ones who warned us to tell us that they're going to be wretched leaders, there's going to be e leaders that's going to have the hearts of Shayateen, the Prophet has said. Right, everyone? That which is of the Athar of Ibn Mas'ud even. Ibn Mas'ud heard from the Prophet Sallallahu said to the point where they're going to even pray at the Salah out of its time. That's tremendous. To pray the Salah out of its time. That which, for example, what Ibn Mas'ud, what he mentioned, he said, سَتَكُونَ عَلَيْكُمْ أُمَرَا يُؤَخِّرُونَ الصَّلَاةَ عَنْ وَقْتِهَا وَيَخْنِقُونَهَا إِلَى شَرْقِ الْمَوْتَى فَإِذَا كَانُوا قَدْ فَعَلُوا ذَلِكَ he said, فَصَلُّوا فِي بُيُوتِكُمْ وَصَلُّوا وَرَاءَكُمْ وَجَعَلْ صَلَاتَكُمْ وَرَاءَهُمْ سُبْحَةً To the end of the narration, Ibn Mas'ud mentioned. 
He said they will be after you. As Ibn Mas'ud came in the other, this is a tremendous other. Well, he was teaching some of the people who were around him how to pray. And he mentioned in that which is of the narration, where he was teaching them how to pray, mentioned in it, there's going to be leaders that's going to be what? Evil. That's going to be over you. Within the narration, he's telling them how to pray. He said, there's going to be leaders over you that's going to put off the salah out of its time. And they're also going to want strangle it, but the meaning of strangling, strangle it, it meaning here, is that like they're going to tighten it and wait until that which is of sometime out of its time, or that which is of what they say, sharq al mota. The meaning of sharq al mota here means, as Ibn Athir mentions in his Nihaya, he said it can mean one of two things. He said, number one, sharq al mota. He said the meaning of that statement is that they're going to wait to the time when it's about to go out, where the sun is about to drop. And we know that's the Salah of the Munafiqeen, which is what? Tremendous. So it says in a narration, يُأَخِرُونَ إِلَى الصَّلَاءِ يَخْرِقُونَ هَيْذَا شَرْقِ الْمَوْتَى Another name meaning, he said, that as if that the meaning of Sharq al Mota, and another narration, or that was another meaning of the meaning of Sharq al Mota, the meaning of it is that is as if it is as a person where he's about to die. And he gives his last breath, and then he dies. And that which is of the drizzle, or that which is of the spit that comes out of the mouth, where as if he's about to die. He breathes his last breath and then he what? Then he falls out. It's as if here he's giving the meaning of the narration here of how of a tremendous of an action that, that he done of what? Putting the salah off to the what? To the, in the proper time. To show how evil the action is. To give how tremendous of the love of what? The action is. So you know the hadith of the Prophet says, Tilka salatul munafiq, yarqubun al shams. What the Prophet talked about the person who prays the salah at the end of his time. He said, Tilka salatul munafiq. That's the salat of a munafiq. Meaning the time is about to go out. It's about to go out. He says he waits for the sun to go down. Wait, sun to go. Yarqub al shams. Just waits. Like you phrase it real quickly, 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 quickly. Do not remember Allah to put the Allah in it except what? That which is a little. The point I'm trying to make, Yama Ashul Ikhwa, is to show that which is of the level of what they what these leaders have fell into. And despite of that, the Prophet says, still be patient with them. You understand, everyone? In the narration of Ibn Mas'ud, it says, and it tells us and shows us the beauty of Islam. How beautiful Islam, and it teaches us in every detail what to do if these circumstances happen to us. We have it in detail. And despite of that, the Muslims still go against it. Have it in detail, and even Ibn Mas'ud this Athar gives us more instructions. What to do? If this is the case, what do we do? If we're commanded to pray behind these people, what will we pray outside the time along with them? Ibn Mas'ud has said and instructions are given him, he said to them, he said, he says, if you see the time going out, and if you're three, he says, then what? Pray together. Pray for real close attention with Ibn Mas'ud. If you're more than that, then pray jama'ah. That which is jama'ah. If there's a jama'ah, congregation, pray in it. Amongst yourselves. Listen to this. Make your salat behind them something that which is what? A subha. Meaning that which is, if is what? Voluntary. Why did Ibn Mas'ud say give this instructions? To show that you're not trying to cause fitna by leaving off praying behind them, which is going to lead to what? More chaos. To keep the Muslims and the unity strong. 
to prevent bloodshed, and that was the corruption to what? Be taken place. To keep the word and the Muslims strong, unified, and not to cause no fitna. You understand? Make a salat, not, not just make a salat behind them, what? That which is of a volunteer salat. Make a salat behind them, subha. You understand, everyone? See how these narrations, this is all telling us what? Telling how to be patient with these leaders, even though this is the level of their evil, to still be patient with them. Why? Because what's going to come out is what more, what worse, more worse. Listen, what? That which is of the narrations of the Prophet, ﷺ, tremendous athar and tremendous ahadith of the Prophet, ﷺ, which Ibn Qayyim mentions, that which you will find is so many ahadith. Prophet said, giving advice, giving advice to the Muslim leader, giving advice to the Muslim leader, giving advice to the Muslim leader, giving advice to the Muslim leader. Tremendous ahadith. And you, ahadith, I'm sure you guys have heard these narrations over and over and over and over and over again. And you notice that which the Prophet mentioned in it is what? Giving advice to them. One of the hadith, I'm sure you guys have already heard many times, that which is in the Sahihain. Inna Allah yarda lakum thalathan. Wa yakrahu lakum thalathan. إِنَّ اللَّهَ يَأَمْرَكُمْ أَنْ تَعْبُدُوهُ وَلَا تُشِكُوا بِهِ شَيْئًا وَأَنْ تَعْتَصِمُوا بِحَبْلِ اللَّهِ جَمِيعًا وَلَا تَفَرَّقُوا وَأَنْ تُنَّاصِحُوا مَنْ وَاللَّهُ اللَّهُ أَمْرَكُمْ وَيَكْرَهُ لَكُمْ ثَلَاثًا قِيلَ وَقَالْ كَثْرَةُ السَّآلْ إِضَاعَةُ الْمَاءُ The Prophet said what? Verily Allah is pleased with you three. He loves and pleased with you three. And he detests for you three. Number one is that you worship with him and do not set up any partners with him in the least. Number one, but commanded you with Tawheed first. Number one, establishing that which is the amount of these from Allah Taala. Ta and to hold firm to the rope of Allah Taala and don't be divided amongst yourselves. The pull the shahid is in the last part of the hadith of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Said what? What did he say? Want to know see who? Man wallahu Allahu amrukum. You give advice to the one who's become an authority in charge over you, for the Muslim ruler. And he hates for you and despises for you three. Qilu al-qaar, kathratu s-sa'al, wa yida'at al-ma'al. Qilu al-qaar, he say, she say. Asking an abundance of too many questions. And what? And also likewise, wasting your wealth. And wasting your money. Another narration of the Prophet Sallallahu in which I wanted to give the sharh of Ibn Mas'ud, uh, Ibn al-Qayyim, which is a beautiful sharh. Beautiful uh, commentary of this hadith. Which is one, it was a very beautiful, beautiful hadith of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam Which is a Sahih Muslim but The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said Thalathatun oh, Excuse me, let me go back to the narration The narration is long Naddad Allah imra'an Sami'a maqalati Fahafidaha wa wa'aha wa addaha Kama sami' Wa rubbaha min al-fiqhin Ghayru faqih Ila fiqhin Ila man huwa afqa min Excuse me Naddad Allah imra'an Sami'a maqalati Wa hafidaha wa wa'aha wa addaha Another narration says Wa addaha kama sami' so many narrations after narration after narration. The Prophet ﷺ is that, that which is of. May Allah Ta'ala give that blossom of this blueness to the or that light to the person that what? That hears, hears my statement and he memorizes it and he, what, he conveys it just like how he heard it. For the one, Rubba Hamid Fiqhin, Laysa Bi Fiqhi, Rubba Hamid Fiqhin, Ila Man Hu Afqamin. He said, maybe for perhaps a person that will what? Who memorizes it, that he what? He might not be a fiqh, extract a fiqh in it, but he conveys it to a one who can extract a fiqh from it. That's not the point of reference in the hadith. This is a whole hadith. Then the point of the hadith where it says here, it says three characteristics in which Allah, which a person's heart, it will never have any record for it. Three things. One narration has, la yaghil. Another narration says, la yughil. Another narration says, la yaghilu. As I heard this from Sheikh Rabir, Hafidullah Ra'a. Sheikh Rabir mentioned the sharh of this hadith. And he mentioned it at a time. 
any rate, that's what the hadith it says. لا يغل ولا يغل ولا يغل One narration it says of that which is a dhamma. لا يغل The meaning of with the fatha on top of the ya is that a person will not have any hatred or any rancor in his heart. Another narration as yughil with a dhamma on it means he will never be treacherous. Another narration, ya yaghilu without a shadda on top of the lamb, meaning he will not enter into evil. I'll say it one more time. La yaghil with a shadda on a fatha on top of the ya means like what? He will not have any baghda or shahna in his heart. He will not have that which is of rancor and evil in his heart. He said, well, la yughil with a dhamma on top of the ya with a shadda on the lamb, meaning he will not be treacherous. وَلَا يَغِلُوا Without a shadda and it's a takhfif of the ya That it means that which is of what? He will not enter into evil لا يدخلوا في الشر فلا So it comes, on, it comes on all these narrations لا يغلوا ولا يغلوا ولا يغلوا The Prophet ﷺ says That which is to be sincere with your actions Be sincere in your actions. And to also maintain and stick to, the, to that which is of the unification of the Muslims and the communities. <clears throat> and also to give advice to the Muslim ruler. For verity, their devil will protect that which what will enter of evil what comes from behind it. This is what Ibn Qayyim says, that which is of the explanation of this. Listen to what he says, Rahimallah. He said, that which is what the Prophet mentioned. He says, and giving advice to the Muslim rulers. He said, this what? This also contradicts, it goes against ghil, with ghish. This also contradicts that which is a rancor and hatred and also treating and being treacherous. For verily nasiha, a nasiha had given sincere advice, it says nothing will mix with it and nowhere can it what combine that which is of ghil, of that which is of, of being treacherous or entering to evil, or even that which is of what they say, al ghil, that which is of having that hatred and that rancor and that anger, or that having that rancor, that, that enmity in one's heart. He says, for that which is the opposite of it. For the one who gives advice to that which is the leaders, and that which is of the ummah, meaning that which is also giving advice to your Muslim brothers, and giving advice to them, then he is free from that which is of what? Al-ghil. Free from that which is of hatred, and that which is of rancor, and that which is of being treacherous, and also that which is entering to evil. That's very important, ya Ma'ash al-Ikhwa. It's important to give nasiha to your brother. Don't be cowards and not see your brother fall into evil and then in the end and just say, well, you're inadvisable. No. If you truly love your son of your brother, I don't care if it even, you brothers have to fall out with your brother who you love so much. At least in your heart you can say, I advise him. You understand, everyone? If you love your son of your brother, you love him. You have true love in your heart for him. You would advise him whether or not he accepts it or not. And do not use the excuse he's ill-advisable until you have given him advice five times, ten times, fifteen times. Try. Try keep trying. Understand? Give advice to your brother. Keep advising him, advising him, advising him. If you truly love him, advise him, advise him, advise him. Is that everyone? Have advice. Give advice to your brother. Advise them. Given that which is of the Ya'ana Rasulullah Sallallahu على سمع والطاعة that was في في عسلنا ويسلنا وأفرتنا علينا وأن النصيحة والنصيحة كل مسلم that which is of from the Sahabi who said that we gave that which is of بيعنا 
We gave the pledge of allegiance to the Prophet Sallallahu to hear and obey to the Muslim rulers and the leaders, whether it be in our good times or that which is of evil, if they come with that which we desire or come with that which we don't desire, and to also give nusr to every Muslim. Also give nusr to what? To every Muslim. To that which is of Ibn al-Qaim, he goes on to say, for the person who have that which is of, who's free from that which is of ad ghil is the one who gives that advice, especially to the Muslim rulers. فَإِنَ صَاحِبَهُ لِلُزُومِهِ جَمَعْتُ الْمُسْلِمِينَ يُحِبُّ لَهُمْ مَا يُحِبُّ لِنَفْسِهِ وَيَكْرَ لَهُمْ مَا يَكْرَهُ لَهَا وَيَسُؤُهُمْ مَا يَسُؤُهُمْ وَيَسُرُّهُمْ مَا يَسُرُّهُمْ وَهَذَا بِخِلَافِ مَنْ أَنْجَزَ مَنْ إِنْجَازَ عَنْهُمْ وَاشْتَغَلَ بِالطَّعْنُ عَلَيْهُمْ وَالْعِيبُ وَالذَّمْ لَهُمْ كَفِعْلِ الرَّافِضَ وَالْخَوَارِجِ This is Ibn Qayyim goes on to say of that which is of this commentary, of this hadith He said for that which is of your sahib or your companion sticking to that which is of the congregation and the strength and the unification of the Muslims meaning that which is of the society is from what? Giving good advice to that which is of the Muslim ruler that which is in secret He said, يُحِبُّ لَهُمْ Why? Because he loves for them what he wants for himself and he hates for them what he hates for himself and it also, it hurts him what, what? It hurts him, what also hurts them, what hurts him. And what makes him happy is also what makes them happy. He said that's in contrast to the one who goes out against them and transgress. And he also busies himself with criticizing them and rebuking them and talking down about them and slighting them and disparaging them and also mentioning their shortcomings and dispraising them just as the Rawafa and the Khawarij and the Mu'tazila. And other than them, for those whose heart is filled with all of these characteristics of that which is a khiana and rish and hatred and that which is of also likewise being treacherous and breaking their oaths and entering the evil. Everything the Prophet ﷺ mentioned in it all falls on what? On top of all of them and those who go out against them. Listen to that which is the ayah in which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in this book where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says أَلَا أُنَبِّئُكُمْ بِالْأَخْسَرِينَ أَعْمَالَ الَّذِينَ ضَلَّ سَعِبِهُمْ سَعِيهُمْ فِي الْحَيَةِ الدُّنْيَا وَهُمْ يَحْسَبُونَ أَنَّهُم يُحْسِنُونَ صُنْعَ You know the meaning of that ayah, the tafsir? Will I not inform you of those who are the worst of losers of their actions and their deeds? Those who what? Set out. And that which they set out for has gone astray. And they believe that which they're doing in it, that they're what? They're guided. Some of the tafsir of this ayah, now listen to this ayah, the tafsir of a Yamash al Ikhwa. One of the tafsir of it is what? One of the tafsir of this ayah is the Yahoo and the Nasara. Another narration it says when Ali ibn Abi Talib says it's the Khawari or the Harudiya, who are the Khawarij. The Harudiya. It says in the ayah, Al Harudiya, who are the Khawarij. Ibn Kathir mentions, he says, rather this ayah is comprehensive for all of them. Yahud, Nasara, and also likewise what? The Haruriya with the Khawarij. He says, for verily it's comprehensive. He says, for kullu man ya'abudullah tabriku ta'ala ala tariqin ghayru maradiyya fu huwa min al-akhsarina a'mala. Those, he said, this ayah is comprehensive for every person that worships Allah tabriku ta'ala in a matter that is not acceptable and in a matter that goes against the Sharia, it is comprehensive for all of them. And they are the ones who this ayah that it what? It applies to. So it be the Yahoo, the Nasara, the Khawarij, and anybody who worships Allah to be with Ta'ala, that's other than the way of the companions of the Prophet. You say everyone? طيب. Last thing which Ibn al Qayyim says about this hadith. He says, Verily, that da'wah, it says it what? It protects them or encompasses them from behind them. This is what Ibn Qayyim says in the last part of the hadith of that, which is Thalatha to Khisan Alayhi Ghillu Alayhin in Muslim. He said, This is from that which is the best speech. He's talking about the kalam of the Prophet. And he said, That which is the ujazihi wa afhamihi, that which is of, is most eloquent, and that which is of, from his greatest of speech, and it was also short, concise, and straight to the point. He said, Ma'ana shabba had da'at al Muslimi bi sur wa siyaj al muhit bihim al mani min duhuli aduihim alayhim. He said that that which is of the Prophet gave resemblance to the da'wah. And that, that which is of those Muslims who stick together and do not go against the ruler even though he's tyrannical. And they, that, they do not go out against them. And they do not also speak against them. He says he, that the Prophet ﷺ gave resemblance to that like a strong fortress or a strong fort or wall. 
He says that encompasses them from all around. It's just a protection. It's a protection, which prevents one from their enemy from entering inside of them. فَإِنَّ تِلْكَ الدَّعْوَ الَّتِي هِيَ دَعْوَةُ الْإِسْلَامُ وَهُمْ دَاخِلُونَهَا لِمَا كَانَتْ سُورًا وَزِيَاجًا عَلَيْهَمْ أَخْبَرَ أَنَّ مَنْ لَزِمَ جَمَعَةُ الْمُسْلِمِينَ أَحَاطَتْ بِهِ تِلْكَ الدَّعْوَةُ So that which is one, who sticks to that which is of, that unification of that word, فَدَعْوَةُ الْإِسْلَامُ For that which is of, that strong fort or that wall which prevents the enemies from coming in, for verily they da'wah, in which is the da'wah of Islam, in which they are what? Not talking about or speaking ill about those leaders, but while, rather they're clicking to the athar of the Prophet and sticking to it. He said, for verily, if they go against that, then they will enter it. What happens now in Syria? What's happening now all the that which is in the Muslim lands? And that which is all of those different places in which Kufar are coming in and that which is of it because they know that the, 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 the word of the leadership has been rocked and, shift, and shifted, which comes as a result, the enemy comes out and now comes into what? Take over. He says, for that which is of, he says, for man lazima, jama'at al muslimin ahatat bihi tilka da'wa, alati hiya da'wa tul Islam. He said, for whoever clings to that which is of the unification of the Muslims, he said, for verily that da'wa what? And we can pass and protect them, which is the da'wa al Islam. Just as كَمَا أَحَطَتْ بِهِمْ فَالدَّعْوَ تَشْمَلْ شَمْلَ أو تَجْمَعُ الشَّمْلَ الْأُمَّةِ وَلَمْ وَتُلِمُ الشَّعْتُهَا وَتُحِيطُ بِهَا فَمَنْ دَخَلَ فِي جَمَاعَتِهَا أَحَطَتْ بِهِ وَشَمْلَتْهُ To the end of it. So for that which is of that da'wah, for the one who claims to those athar of the Prophet وسلم, and the one who obeys the Prophet وسلم, in that and hears and adheres to that which is of the leader, he said for verily that which the Prophet وسلم, mentioned this other here or this hadith here, he says then that da'wah is also what? Applies to them, that protection. And also that which is of the one who comes in and clings to that which is the jama'ah, then also they will gain that protection and also it, it, it applies to them and it is comprehensive for them also likewise. To the end of what Ibn Qayyim said, Rahimullah mentioned that hadith, which is a great hadith, and which is a tremendous other, which I heard Shaykh Rabir mention on so many occasions. He used to mention that hadith. He used to mention this explanation of it. And it was a great, it's a great that which is a beautiful hadith of the Prophet Sallallahu Three words. إخلاص العمل الله. وزون جماعة المسلمين ومناص صحة ولي الأمر فإن الدعوة أو إن فإن الدعوة تهم تحيتهم من رأهم. تلنا ذا النارجم which is a صحيح مسلم. طيب. Sorry everyone. Did I jump off the side of the topic a little bit? Any rate. That which is of the last thing we want to mention, insha Allah. That which is the hadith of Ibn Mas'ud radiallahu anhu and the likes of them encourages, and in, in the more is more narrations. It encourages what? It encourages that which the, a person to be miftah al khair and mighlaq al sharr. To be a person that is the one who opens that which is the key of good and to be a person that lacks of evil. And that's the reason why all these narrations were mentioned from the Prophet sallam, of that which is of obedience to the leader and to make dua for them as for salah of that which is of uprightness and rectification and tawfiq to the end of those narrations that we mentioned. Also, I forgot to mention that which is pertaining to the Salah. I forgot to mention that. But we'll stop here, inshallah. I forgot everyone if this is Salah through the time. Inshallah, I'll speak to the brothers. I didn't mean to uh, start it so late tonight. But inshallah, I will probably, I'm just going to think about what's discussing, inshallah. Probably starting maybe, some Salah coming now, 7.05 or something like that. Maybe start at 6.45. 6.45, maybe 6.50, we'll talk about it, inshallah. Because we're starting kind of late. Any questions about the lesson, anyone? Hey. You mentioned in the case where you have a tyrannical Muslim ruler, mm -hmm. um, there was a narration in the Bible that pertained to if there are three of them, pray to Jamaah. Pray to Jamaah. That's if the Salah is going out. If, if the Salah is going out. Mm -hmm. and, then, and then perchance. If there's Jamaah congregation, Amongst yourselves, pray it. Mean amongst yourselves. But don't display it in front of the people as if you're showing that, khalas, we're not blaming the leader, uh, we're not giving a heat to the hoot. That, that's going to cause fitna. So he's saying what? Pray it amongst yourselves. Still, you have to pray on time. Or hear it, so obeying to them is what? And obey to Allah and His Messenger. There's no disobedience to disobedience to Allah and His Messenger. Even then, your mother and father was a kafir. 
that which is of disobedience to Allah and His Messenger, then what? But if they obey you of that which is of obeying to Allah and His Messenger, then what? Still have to be upright with them and show them that which is of uprightness. And if they're kafir, mother and your father, that which is of showing them being kind to them and gentle to them, being upright to them and showing them goodness and uprightness, except that which is of disobedience to Allah and His Messenger. They ask you to go buy them some khamar, you say, La, mom, I can't do that for you. Can you go buy me some cigarettes? No, mom, I can't do that for you. Oh, mom, uh, can you buy me, uh, give me some weed? La, no, mom, I can't do that for you. You understand? You understand, everyone? For that which is that's the eye, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in his book, which is a sort of Luqman, when Jahadaka Allah and Tushika be Malay Salaka be he ilmu for that to take a huma, or saw heba huma for dunya maruva, what to bear Sabila men anaba ilay. That's also praising the Sahaba too in that ayah too. But the Prophet, where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, if they fight you, or they try to make you do something of that which is, or, or they, if they try to be that which is struggle against you, to set up partners with me of shirk which you have no knowledge, then don't obey them. But however, accompany them of that which is in this dunya of goodness. Follow the path of those who make tawbah to me. Ibn al-Qayyim says that that was in that ayah, the Sahaba were the first ones to make tawbah to Allah. So I was saying, follow the path of those who what? Make tawbah to me. This is the what? The Sahaba. Who are? The Salaf. You understand everyone? Yeah. Any other question about the lesson? Hold on. Ayub al-Sikhtiyani. Ayub al-Sikhtiyani. Every person has a problem. Bin Al-Azhar has inclination to Khawarij. Even the Sufis. Ayub al-Sikhtiyani. Al-Sikhtiyani, say Sorbuni. That's a sikhtani. Any questions about the lesson? Father Talib. Ta, ta, he always gets you and Talib mixed up. Yeah. Who, who, who was um, making the little E, right? The little E. Uh -huh. Who was first to pull between it? Was it from them or the Qadriya? They merged. Oh, you mean the Qadriya? The Qadriya? You mean the Qadriya? They use it for that. Some of them say that which of the Khawarij was the first to emanate due to the fact of the Khuwais or Tamimi. They said of that which is the head, he was the head of the, of the Khawarij. They were the head of the Khawarij. Even though he was the one that was, who the Prophet said that they were emerged from them, who are what? From this individual. So the end of the narration was talking about who is the head of the Khawarij, or the Khawais or the Tamimi. From that which we say, as far as that which is pertaining to the, from, from what I remember, that was Sheikh Muhammad Ahmad Jami. From what I remember him saying, I have to, oh man, subhanAllah, it's been a long time since I read it. Mm. Oh man, what was it? The Qadani was the Sabi'iyya. Mm. It wasn't the Shia, uh, it wasn't the Shia. Mm. I'll get back to you, Tala. Let me check. I gotta make check my material. I'll get back to you, inshallah. Hold on. It usually will come back to me at the hour. I'll be like, yeah, I'll just remember. Yeah. Peter will call. Kafir to Sual. We do it in mal. Wasting your money. Wasting your wealth. Uh, last note of unnecessary, abundant asking of questions. Yeah. Ibn Kathir. Ibn Kathir mentioned it. Ibn Kathir mentioned it. Look at the tafsir, you'll find it. Surah Al Kahf. The last ayat, Surah Al Kahf. The last ayat, Surah Al Kahf is on the last page. You'll find it. He either mentions first, he mentions the Yahud and Nasara. So, do I not inform you of that which is of the most people, of, of, of those who are the most people who are at loss as far as their deeds on the day of resurrection? One of the tafsir of it says the Yahud, the Jews, and the Christians. One of the tafsir of it says what? The Haruriya. Ali ibn Sapar is on the Athar, Ali ibn Abi Talib, and other than him. 
The Ibn Kathir says, rather that ayat is comprehensive, he says, فَكُلُّ مَنْ يَعْبُدُ اللَّهِ تَفْرِقُ تَعَالَىٰ عَلَىٰ طَرِيقَةٍ غَيْرِ مَرْضِيَةٍ تَشْمَلُهُمْ هَذِ الْآيَةٍ Everybody that, everyone that worships Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala upon a methodology that is not what? That's, fun, that's correct. Or that which pleases Allah, meaning that which is not upon the minhaj of the, of the Sahaba. He said then is what? Then the ayah is comprehensive for them and applies to them. So it could be the Rawadha, it could be the Shia, it could be the Khawarij, it could be the Mu'tazila, it could be the Shashariya, it could be the Ikhwani, Ikhwani, everyone. Everyone, everyone, everyone. No matter who it is. Tafadah, Sheikh, I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Tafadah, I'm sorry. You mentioned about the three books, the Khawarij, the Mu'tazila, and the Rafida, and you mentioned some about them, you said about the uh, Rafida, that they, their leaders must be in Talibah. Exactly. About the other two, what did you say about them? They're from the usul of commanding the good and forbidding the evil is to overthrow the ruler. Overthrow the ruler and, and get rid of him. The tyrannical ruler or the evil ruler has to be what? Has to be removed. There's a lot of evidences in this, in these, uh, in this chapter I wanted to go over, but we're trying to keep everything summarized so we can finish the book. If I could give after Athar, after Athar, after Athar, after Athar, it's a tremendous Athar. That pertains to what happened with Uthman, with Ibn Mas'ud, and pertaining to the, it's a lot of different Athar, subhanAllah. But we want to keep going, inshallah, so we can start the next chapter, next class, inshallah, or this Friday. We're going to start the new chapter next, uh, this coming Friday. Anything else about the, cl uh, the class, anyone? About the class? Oh, no. Taqiyya. That, that necessitates for the Shia to them to lie to you. They say they can lie to you. That allows them to lie to you. They, 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 they ascribe that to or the action or that which is of action to Abi, uh, Abi Abdullah ibn Ja'far al-Sadiq. Abi Abdullah ibn Ja'far al-Sadiq. And he was a righteous individual. He's righteous, rahimahullah. If you find it, go back to the history of it. If you guys can find it on the internet, find it. Read a little bit of his history and what with the Shia, what they do to try to flip in order to use it to justify why they lie. And I told you what, what Sha'bi said, right? Remember that other I gave you guys upon what Sha'bi said? What Sha'bi said, he was from the Kibar of the, the greatest files of uh, Ali ibn Abi Talib. Where he said, he said that which is of the other of uh, Sha'bi. He says, Wallah, he was talking to Imam Malik. He said, Lo yu'tuni riqabi. He said, لو أردت أن يعطوني رقابي عبيدا أو على أن أكذب لهم على علي لفعلوا والله ما كذبت عليه أبدا تذل لذا أذر He said, وهؤلاء أحمق من الخجبية He said, ولو كانوا من الطير لكانوا رخمة ولو كانوا من ولو كانوا من الدواب لكانوا حمرة ولو يملؤوني درست ذاتر يملؤوني بيتي ذهبا على أن أكذب لهم علي على علي لفعلوا درس درس هذا وهي سد هذا which is of a شعبي he says he said مالك he said that these people wanted to give me their their necks as slaves to me or he started about الشيعة والروافض or to fill my house up with gold on the condition that, that I lie upon Ali, for them, they would do it. That's what Shaykh Al-Islam mentioned in Minhaj, Minhaj Sunnah. Minhaj, that tremendous treaties in which every Tabi al-Ilm have, in which Shaykh Al-Islam destroyed the Shia and the Ruwabab, destroyed them, annihilated them, which is called Minhaj Sunnah. which is a refutation, which is another refutation against those who say, we can't read refutations. SubhanAllah, the majority of Shaykh Al-Islam the majority of his books is refutations. The Qur'an is refutations against the Mushriks, against the Jews, against the Christians, against, and also the Qur'an breaks people down into different sects and different categories. Because there are people out there that says you can't make people into what? Categories. You can't put people in categories. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, this is a kafir, this is a munafiq, this is a mu'min. Isn't that categorizing or not? I'm just asking. 
Put them in a category, them in a category, and them in a category. The Qur'an itself is a refutation. The Qur'an refutes shirk, refutes bid'ah, refutes kufr, refutes shirk, refutes bid'ah, of course. Refutation against the mushiki, refutation, refutation, refutation. The Qur'an is a re has in it refutations. The asr, I forgot to tell you guys this, the asr of what makes you Muslim is in it a refutation. The word la ilaha illallah in it is a refutation. La ilaha. La ilaha is a refutation against who? Against the atheist. Against the atheist. Illallah is a refutation against who? The mushiki. The asl of what makes you a Muslim of saying the word la ilaha illallah, brothers, in it is a refutation. There's no way of cultivating people properly except that you have to refute some type of sect or sex in order for people to truly understand the meaning of la ilaha illallah, Muhammad Rasulullah. That's a minhaj you guys have to understand. Understand everyone? The meaning of la ilaha illallah that just kalima itself in it is a refutation. There's no way you can cultivate people properly, understand Islam properly, except you have to go into refutations. There's no getting around it. Understand everyone? So that which is the Shia, you found the, uh, the Sha'bi that he said, he said that if I was to, if they was to give me my, the, their necks as concubines, or if they wanted to fill my house up with gold from the condition that I lie upon Ali, they would do it. He said, well, how Allah Ahmad al Khajabiyah? He said, they're more foolish, more stupid than that was of the Khajabiyah. He's talking about the Rawit, Sha'bi. He said, well, Allah, I would never lie upon Ali. He said, these people were fine, they were from, and he was given how this praise, he was trying to dispraise them. So he's speaking to them in a most demeaning manner. He's talking about the Rawit. He said if they were from the birds, they would be like the most stupidest of idiots of birds. He was mentioning them the type which is called Ruhama, which is a type of bird. And I have to go back to check the meaning of it. He said that if they were from that, which is of beasts, of, right, of animals, they would be donkeys. Just praise them, show how stupid they are. <laughs> That's what Shaykh al Islam mentioned in the Hajj Sunnah. This is Shabi, and he's from the, from the greatest fathers of Ali. So people say, oh, stuff for the law, you, brother, you can't talk that about people, Muslims. Yaqi, this is from one of the most greatest fathers of Ali, but Abi Talib. He said that. You understand? And this is our minhaj we, we, we follow. Of those who go against the minhaj of the Sahaba and go gout against that, they deserve this praise because they are people that are falling in a manner that is what? Not pleasing to Allah. And Allah Ta'ala, you will find dispraising people in the Quran and calling them donkeys. And Allah Ta'ala himself said it about certain individuals, and he said it about the Yahud. That was of the Yahud. What did he say? Allah Subhanahu wa Ta'ala said, Surah Jumu'ah. What did he say? Humila Torati Thumma Lam Yahmiluha, Ish. Kamathal al Himar, Yahmilu al Asfar. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, you'll find a refutation that they will use to say play. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, you're trying to say here using bad language? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala describes some people being like kelb, like a dog. As Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, it's for mathaluhu kamathalil kelb. In tahmil alayhi yalhath, aw tatruku yalhath. Thalika mathalul qawmi alladhina kandabu bi ayatina. Thakusus il qasas Allah allahum yatafakirun. Talking about those who left out the revelation, left out the proper guidance. He said their example is like the dog. If you put them upon them and give them what they want, the people who love their desires and they, they put the desires before Allah and His Messenger, and they love the dunya and they love to sell out their religion as a result of it, it's like a dog. If you just give them what they want, they'll still pet because they want it. And if you leave them alone, they'll still pet and want it. That is the example of the ones who belied our signs. Tell to them these stories in order for them to reflect. Tayyip, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is using bad language. That's what you want to say? 
and dispraising anyone who what? Who left off the tariqah of the sahaba or the companions of the Prophet Sallallahu deserves this praise. You understand everyone? He deserves this praise. But instead of that, but brothers, still you need hikmah, that which is of what? And that which is of your da'wah. It's a time to dispraise and show that which is of what? Shidda, being that which is stern, and there's a time for that which is of what? That which is of gentleness. Just have to know how to be hukama, be wisdom, and put everything in its proper place. And don't let one override what? The other. And don't listen to those saying we have to be gentle, we have to be gentle, be gentle, be gentle, be gentle. La. Having good akhlaq, brothers, is like having the akhlaq of the Prophet. Sometimes the Prophet was gentle, sometimes the Prophet was what? Stern. You understand, everyone? And that's perfect akhlaq when you gather between everything, you have middle course, and you have that which is a moderation with everything, and being hakeem, and knowing when to put everything in its proper place. And that's having good akhlaq. Is that everyone? For a person being nice when it's time to be stern is having bad akhlaq. I'll say it again. If being soft when the time was time to be stern, that's considered having bad akhlaq. Compromising your religion when you're being nice and gentle and compromising and oh, you go, no, we got to be gentle. That bad akhlaq. Don't let the Sufis and them fool you with that nonsense. Talk about some religion, so we have to. Lahi. <laughs> Put everything in its proper place. And also, likewise, vice versa. Being stern when it's time to be gentle is also having bad akhlaq. Being stern when it's time to be gentle, also, likewise, is having bad akhlaq. You're not putting something in its proper place. You have to learn how to be Hakeem brothers and know when to put everything in its proper place. And don't let one override the other. That's being Hakim. Not putting something in its improper place. You understand, everyone? Stay away from the idiot Sufis, Ikhwani. Stay away from them, brothers. Please. They will mess you up. Be glad that you have a Salafi masjid, you have a Salafi administration, and inshallah, inshallah you have a Salafi imam. <laughs> he was trying to be a part of Salafi. You understand? Be glad you guys have leave off the Ikhwanis. Also, brothers, leave the as it got back to me, brothers keep wanting to marry Ikhwani sisters. Leave them off. Alhamdulillah, you have Salafi sisters. Marry the Salafi sisters and you'll free yourself from the problems. You understand? We have a lot of Salafi sisters out there that need to be married, marry them. Okay, brothers? As I hear somebody's in our community say there's probably, you know, well, you know, she she wants to she likes Shaykh this now to the end of it. And we say, okay, brothers, just marry Salafi sisters, free yourself from problems. <laughs> Hadha wa sallallahu wa sallam baraka ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi